All right, I'm Matt McCredden. I'm in the School of Educational Psychology and Pedagogy. Uh, my research uh, is looking at uh, text learning. Uh, I like to look at uh, three basic factors when examining reading comprehension. One is uh, characteristics of the reader, such as their background knowledge. Uh, characteristics of the text, such as how the text is organized, or maybe the use of pictures or diagrams. And third, uh, the types of instructions you provide readers uh, before they read. Uh, looking at how can you help learners learn um, when they're trying or how do you help them learn in spite of themselves as they may be coming in ill-equipped but how can you help them become um, uh, better learners and s to guide their own uh, learning. Uh, the students have this aha moment you can physically see it like we're having students read the text out loud and they'll stop and they'll question it and say, well, this can't be right. And then you provide the reasoning, like, and they'll, they'll just stop and say, oh, I get what you're talking about. That makes sense now. So you can actually see from a, from a cognitive standpoint, they're actually going through the moment by moment uh, process of restructuring their knowledge, which to me is quite fascinating. You know, if you won the lottery, what job would you do? I, I do this the same exact job. I may not teach summer school, you know, I get extra money, but um, I love what I do and uh, constantly thinking about how I can do better at it or what's the next research project or... And uh, in doing so, if students come in with a genuine interest to learn, I believe that um, uh, we should be able to help them reach a manageable goal, particularly for someone who's working full-time uh, in a classroom, uh, and also if they're able to get some time off from uh, uh, their head of department or their head of school, uh, that I think that we're trying to make our programs manageable and, and user-friendly so that students can um, achieve and feel like they've accomplished something. I generally tend to think that I learn more from the students than they learn from me. Uh, I remember working with a group of uh, year four students. Uh, we're teaching them reading strategy and, and seeing how the kids in the class interacted because there's lots of individual differences in the students. Some of the students were probably reading at two years above their existing class and there are probably some students who are reading two years below. And uh, I was amazed at how well the students in the class got along. They weren't competitive. They were, they saw one of their mates was struggling and then seeing how they would help that other student along, I found that to be quite fascinating, particularly.